In this video, we're going to focus on solving rational inequalities. So let's start with this example. x minus 3 divided by x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So let's start with a number line. Now we need to set the numerator equal to 0. So x is equal to 3. And if we set the denominator equal to 0, the second point of interest is negative 2. So let's put that in the number line negative 2 and 3. To the right we have positive infinity, to the left negative infinity. Notice that we have x plus 2 in the bottom and if you have a 0 in the bottom the function is undefined so x plus 2 should not equal 0. Therefore at negative 2 we should have an open circle but the numerator can be equal to 0 so we're gonna have a closed circle at 3. Make sure you understand that. Now we need this fraction to be greater than zero. That means it has to be a positive number. There's three regions that are important in this number line. These three regions. We need to determine the sign of each of those regions. So let's start with the first one. Let's plug in four into this fraction. Four minus three is positive, and four plus two is positive. A positive number divided by a positive number will give us a positive result. Now let's pick a number between negative 2 and 3. Let's try 0. So 0 minus 3 is negative. 0 plus 2 is positive. A negative divided by a positive number will give us a negative result. And if we try a number in this region like negative 3, negative 3 minus 3, that's negative 6, so that's negative. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative. And two negative numbers divided against each other will produce a positive result. Now we want the fraction to be greater than or equal to zero so we want the positive values. So we're going to shade that region and the region on the left. So the solution in interval notation is going to be negative infinity to negative two with a parenthesis due to the open circle and then union 3 to infinity using brackets due to the closed circle that we have here. Now to express the same answer using inequalities, for this part you could say that x is less than a negative 2 or for this part x is equal to or greater than 3. So those are the two ways in which you can express your answer. So that's how you can solve this particular rational inequality. Let's try another example. x minus 4 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 3. And this is going to be less than 0. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. So the points of interest are negative 1 and then 3. And then the next one is 4. We're going to have positive infinity and negative infinity. Now, this one is in a denominator, so we're going to have an open circle at 3. Now, notice that it doesn't equal 0. It's less than 0. So, in fact, all of these points of interest will be open circle. If it was less than or equal to 0, these two would be a closed circle. So, keep that in mind. Now, because it's less than 0, we want to find the regions that are negative, not positive. So let's check the signs. Let's pick a number between 4 and infinity. Let's use 5. So 5 minus 4, that's going to be positive. And 5 plus 1 is positive. 5 minus 3 is positive. So the first result will be positive. Now if we pick a number between 3 and 4, like 3.5, 3.5 minus 4 is negative, 3.5 plus 1 positive, and 3.5 minus 3 is positive. So a negative times a positive times a positive will give us a negative number. Now, picking a number between negative 1 and 3, let's try 0. 0 minus 4 is negative, 0 plus 1 is positive, 0 minus 3 is negative. A negative times a positive times a negative will give us a positive number. 
Now the signs will always alternate if the multiplicity of each zero is 1. So the next one is going to be negative. If you plug in negative 2, this will be negative. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative. And negative 2 minus 3 is negative. Three negatives multiplied to each other will be negative. Now we want the portion of the graph that is less than 0 or that's negative. So the answer using interval notation is going to be negative infinity to negative 1 union 3 to 4. As an inequality, we could say that x is less than negative 1 or x is between 4, between 3 and 4. And that's it for this problem. Let's work on this one. x plus 2 over x minus 1. Let's say it's less than or equal to 3. So what do you think we need to do in this case? Because this is not 0. So we need to do some work before we can make a number line. Let's move the 3 to the other side. So it's going to be x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 3. And so that's less than or equal to 0. Now, what we need to do at this point is multiply negative 3 by x minus 1 over x minus 1. We need to get common denominators. So this is going to be x plus 2 minus 3 times x minus 1. And because the denominators are the same, we can write it as one single fraction. So now let's distribute the negative 3 to x minus 1. So it's going to be negative 3x plus 3. And now let's simplify. So x minus 3x is negative 2x. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So this is what we now have. Now, we know that the denominator cannot be 0, so therefore x can't be 1. And if we set the numerator equal to 0, then 5 is equal to 2x. So x is 5 over 2, or we could say 2.5. So those are the points of interest. So we have 1 and 2.5. Now we're going to have a closed circle at 2.5 and an open circle at 1 because you can't have a 0 in the bottom. Now let's test the points. So let's try a number that's bigger than 2.5. Let's try 3. So negative 2 times 3 plus 5 over 3 minus 1. Negative 2 times 3 is 6, I mean negative 6, plus 5, that's negative, and 3 minus 1 is positive. So here we have a negative result in this region. And if we pick a number between 1 and 2.5, like 2, negative 2 times 2 plus 5 over 2 minus 1. It's negative 4 plus 5, that's positive, 2 minus 1 is positive. So this is going to be positive in that region. And then for the last part, between negative infinity and 1, let's try 0. So if we try 0, this is just going to be 5, and this is going to be negative 1, which will give us a negative result. So we want the answers that are less than 0. So we want the negative answers. So we're going to shade the blue region. So the answer is going to be negative infinity to 1, but not including 1, and then 5 over 2 to infinity. So as an inequality, x is less than 1, or x is equal to or greater than 5 over 2. And that's it. If you want to find more of my videos on these uh, topics, check out my pre-calculus playlist. You might find other videos that uh, may be helpful. So thanks again for watching and have a good day.